This is October 1st, 2015 at the Darling Marine Center doing a quick look at our flip bag system trial. Um, and the flip bags seem to have survived the recent storm pretty well. Um, you can see that the bags don't flip completely. Um, this is a, an intertidal setup and we've got five bags in between our posts. And there's a fair bit of sag in the line there even though we've tightened up the, uh, the anchor lines there. Um, so the bags will sit on the mud and they don't go completely vertical at low tide. But they do seem to be tumbling. Uh, you can see that some of the oysters will hang up on the bags and they don't fully drop down all the way to the bottom. So here's the middle bag. It has the most sag to it. And the oysters there are still caught up in the upper edge as opposed to being down here. And then you get to the end. Here's the next to the end bag and the oysters have tumbled down more. And then of course you reach the end bag and the oysters have gotten a full tumble. So we'll be doing some measurements to see if there's any difference between the end bag here and that's the middle bag of this five bag setup. And then we have some controls, just a, a set of rack and bag um, oysters set up here. We've been flipping them every once in a while. They seem to be grown quite well, nice and clean. I flipped the bags, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 days ago or so. And so the fouling that was on the bottom is now on the top there. Uh, tunicates, colonial and, and solitary ascidians. And maybe we can see here on some of these oysters, you can see the blue B tag there. So we'll be collecting individual statistics as well as group statistics too. It's been a fun project.